law enforcement uh, uh, for being professional, uh, doing your job. Uh, we appreciate the good service that you guys provide for the safety and welfare of all Americans. Thank you. Uh, thank you, National City and Sheriff. Basically, we are here to uh, honor and remember our fallen heroes. Uh, who have paid the ultimate price in service to our nation. We consider you guys as the front line. Uh, we honor you with your heroic service. You don't get paid nearly enough to do what you guys do. Um, now, we know that there's all kinds of rhetoric bantering back and forth on the issue. The anarchists, uh, the pro-illegal immigration people always talk about social justice, dignity, peace, etc. While they forcibly take our nation's, nation by storm via the largest invasion in all of human history. There's no precedent for what's going on at this point. The dangerously and lethally out of control illegal immigration from Mexico is a grave threat to the safety and sovereignty of our nation. It is a socio and economic demographic of epic and biblical proportions. And political correctness can stuff this down only so long. This thing's going to blow. You guys got job security for some time to come. All the polls show that over 80% of Americans want our border secured now. And we want our... Immigration yeah. laws are yeah. and, yet, and yet, our borders are more porous today than they were the day before 9-11. Why? Why, when we have 80% of the American public that is screaming for enforcement and security? Because of a little-known secret that is now coming out of the bag called the NAU slash SPP. And it basically has to do with what I've dubbed the critical mass theory. And that is the powers that be. And let me just say, I voted for George Bush two times. So I represent tens of millions of disaffected Americans right now that feel betrayed. It has to do with creating a critical mass of illegal immigrants in this point, the point of which, in this country, the point of which you cannot go back on. We are making history here today, and we will make history again this Wednesday in Escondido as the Escondido City Council makes the first vote on the entire west coast of the United States to ban renting to illegal immigrants, which has now taken over the east coast. We, we, know, we know for an absolute fact that several council members have been intimidated and threatened by various members of the Latino community who are vehemently opposed to the uh, rule of law and the safety and welfare of the American citizens that these council members are trying to put into, uh, into law next Wednesday. Because of this, our police are being murdered at alarming rates, and no one seems to care. Now, let an illegal alien be murdered by an American, and the ACLU will be all over it. But let dozens and dozens and dozens of our police be murdered, be executed, and it's swept under the carpet. Can anybody tell me what that's about? Well, today we are here to honor our fallen heroes. Now, Cop killers hide in Mexico! Now, the, uh, in World War II, the Japanese Emperor, after they preemptively attacked us at Pearl Harbor, he said, I fear we've woken up a sleeping giant. I think that's the case right now, what's going on all across America. The sleeping giant are the American people who are fed up and outraged over this invasion, and they're waking up city by city. They're not waiting for the action to come from the top down. We're working it from the bottom up. Now, along those lines, we recently had the darling of the police force of the entire United States of America, a Houston gentleman named Rodney Johnson, who was brutally executed with four shots to the back of his head by a Mexican illegal immigrant who had been deported a year or two ago. This just happened a few days ago because Houston has been a sanctuary city for years. Now, Mayor White just sent out an email to many, many people across the nation saying that in honor of Rodney Johnson's falling, he is revoking sanctuary city status for, Hu uh, for Houston. Now, I, I want to read you something here. This is from a woman named Leslie Wetzel who says she's a proud Texan and an American. She is from Houston. She wrote this beautiful and moving eulogy of the funeral procession for this darling Rodney Johnson whose five children will never see him again. She had a slideshow, and if you want to see the slideshow, it's on http slash slash furalarm.org.hfd. It'll make you cry. So here it is. These are her words. The slideshow was taken by a fellow uh, American who was a firefighter. He gave me his card as we were dismissing from the funeral procession today. Please take a look at it. This was a very solemn day in Houston. I went downtown to pay my respects. I found some police and fire personnel on a bridge overlooking downtown Houston. 
I had my American flag and wanted to pay my respects to Officer Johnson's family and show the city and the world that we are proud of our American flag. I found a photographer from the Houston Chronicle and a photographer from the forensic team who were there to photograph the funeral procession of Officer Johnson's family. They can be seen in the slideshow standing on either side of me. What is not obvious is the fellow on my left who is playing his trumpet, America the Beautiful. It was a very profound time. I was so proud to be a Houstonian, although not proud of our police chief and mayor, whose asinine policies had directly led to this fine officer's death. My brother told me earlier this evening that he saw some video when the police chief came to Ben Taub Hospital, where most severe trauma cases are taken here in Houston, that none of the many officers who were there would even look at him. No wonder speaks volumes on how they feel about his moronic sanctuary policy, which, by the way, has subsequently been revoked by Houston Mayor White. The city came to a stop that day to honor this hero. Let us not have his death be in vain. Let his death be a meaningful, like a lady who started Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Let Officer Johnson's sacrifice meet an end to aiding and abetting illegal aliens invading our sacred nation. Yeah. Yes. The, the fellow who showed up and played his trumpet was a Hispanic. So were several of those standing on the bridge with me today. They want the laws enforced. This is an issue of protecting our citizens and those law enforcement officers who protect us as well. We all need to stand together and defy this aggression on our safety and sovereignty. God rest the soul of Officer Johnson, signed Leslie Wetzel, proud Texan and American.